powerful, impactful, life-changing. This is the teaching ministry of Apostle Faith Menobuera, where supernatural things are happening through the anointed Word of God. This prolific preacher and dynamic teacher of God's Word is changing lives all over the world. Are you ready? Because your life will never be the same. Your success is directly related to your submission to God's Word. We are not here to do what we think or feel. We are here to do what God's word has approved. If you're going to succeed in life, God must come first in everything you do. And faith in God does not fail because its origin is God. Here is Apostle Faith Man Obweda. Glory be to God. This is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad. And today we'll be sharing on faith for supernatural prosperity. The first thing we have to establish is that God wants us to prosper. God wants us to prosper. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to prosper spiritually. He wants you to prosper emotionally. He wants you to prosper Financially, he wants you to prosper in every area of your life. And true prosperity begins with having the revelation of God's will. You know, the knowledge of his will is the key to effective faith. Our faith cannot be effective except we have the knowledge of his will. One of the ways your faith makes progress is when you have the knowledge of the will of God. One of the ways your faith makes progress is when you have the knowledge of the will of God. Faith for supernatural prosperity. I want to begin by saying that the scripture established in Romans 10, 17, it says, so, so then faith cometh by hearing and hearing by the word of God. How does faith come? Faith comes by hearing. And hearing the word of God, if we don't believe that prosperity is the will of God, we cannot step into it. If we are against prosperity, if we are against the manifestation of material things in our life, we, we can't truly prosper. If we are going to prosper, we need to believe what God's word teach about prosperity. In third John verse 2, he said, I, I wish above all things that I may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospereth. I wish above all things that I may prosper and be in good health, even as your soul prospereth. As your soul prospers in the word of God, the tendency to prosper in material things will be there. God wants you to prosper. In your finances, he wants you to believe that you can come out of debt. You can be debt free. Your home can be debt free. Your car can be debt free. Everything around you can be debt free. But we have to believe that. We have to believe that. And how do we believe that? By faith, we begin to see ourselves operating in increase. It is by faith we give our seed. Is by faith we tithe. Is by faith we partner. And the scripture says, whatever that is not done by faith is sin. Whatever that is not done by faith is sin. So in Romans 10 17, he said, Faith cometh by hearing. So I need to consistently hear God's word that has to do with me having supernatural prosperity. When we talk about supernatural prosperity, it is a kind of prosperity that glorifies God in all dimensions. It's a kind of prosperity that is consistent with God word, God's word, that is consistent with God's will. The kind of prosperity that is consistent with God's word, the kind of prosperity that is consistent with the finished work of Jesus. So God wants me to prosper. So I have to establish this, that prosperity is the will of God. Prosperity is the will of God. Uh, poverty is a weapon of the enemy. 
The enemy uses poverty to oppress. The enemy uses poverty to kill dreams of people. He uses poverty to limit people from reaching their full potential. But God wants you to prosper. In third John Vex 2, he said, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in good health even as your soul prospers. He said, I wish above all things that you prosper. This is the will of God. This is the plan of God. This is the purpose of God that you, you prosper, that you prosper in your health. You prosper emotionally. You prosper mentally. This is the will of God that you prosper. But if we don't have the revelation of his will, we are going to be in opposition to what God's word is teaching us. We're going to say, well, I don't think that God wants me to prosper. Well, I don't think that God wants me to have more. I don't think so. We we, we keep saying that until we begin to lose focus on what God really wants us to have. God wants you to prosper. He wants you to prosper. He wants you to prosper in every area of your life. So, but the first thing we have to do is to develop our faith to receive. Developing your faith to receive, you know, by faith, you can see yourself and say, man, I'm coming out of debt. In the name of Jesus, I declare I'm going to be debt free. I'm going to come out of every form of debt. You, by faith, you're seeing yourself coming out of debt. By faith, you're seeing yourself. You know, some people say, well, I don't think I'm going to come out of debt. I don't think it's possible. This debt is so much that I can't come out of it. No, you can come out of it. The will of God for you is that you live a stress-free life. You live a worry-free life. You live a depression-free life. This is the will of God for you. The will of God for you is that you prosper in all things. You excel in all things. But if we don't have the right revelation of God's word, we'll be accepting things that are not consistent with his will. If we don't have... The right revelation of God's word will be accepting things that is not consistent with his will. And the enemy will always take advantage of the area where we are ignorant of God's word. The enemy will always take advantage. The strength of the enemy is in the area where you are ignorant of God's word. And the word of God is coming to us right now. That we are coming out of debt. Every form of debt. Whatever that have stood on your way. Concerning your financial prosperity, you are coming out of that debt in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Now, if we are going to prosper, if we're going to receive supernatural prosperity, we must learn to stand on God's word. I'd like us to look at Genesis chapter 12. In Genesis chapter 12, there is something the word of God said here. Genesis chapter 12. In Genesis chapter 12, God wants you to prosper. God wants you to prosper in every area of your life. In Genesis 12, look at this. He said, Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land I will show you. He said, Get thee out. He said, Prosperity begins with obeying God's instruction. Prosperity begins with with obeying God's instruction. What is the instruction God is giving to you? Prosperity begins with obeying God's instruction. If you are in the place of obedience, you will prosper. How do we prosper? We prosper by being in the place of obedience. If you are in the place of obedience, you will prosper. So he said to Abraham, come out from your father's house to a land I will show you. Now, Whenever we take the step of obedience, we open door for increase, unknown to us. Whenever we take the step of obedience, we open door for increase. If you want to see increase, you have to take a step of obedience. You have to take a step of obedience. You, you, you cannot truly have supernatural results except you take a step of obedience. So he said here, Now the Lord has said unto Abraham, Get thee out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land I will show thee. Vex 2 said, And I will make of thee a great nation. Wow. I will make of thee a great nation. This was the prophetic future of Abraham being communicated to him through the word of God. I will make of thee a great nation. This is what God was saying to him. 
And Abraham is expected to believe the word of God. Is it when you believe God's word, you are setting things in motion. You are setting the right things in motion. When you believe the word of God, and it's said here in verse 2, I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and I will make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. This is powerful. God laid the foundation of Abraham's prosperity with his word. He said, come out from your father's land. Come out from where you are. Come out from your comfort zone. Maybe the Lord is talking to you right now. Maybe to move to another state. Maybe to move to another city. Maybe the Lord is saying to you, go start a business. Maybe the Lord is saying to you, go learn a new skill. Maybe the Lord is saying to you, go do this. Your prosperity is connected to your obedience to God's instruction. If you're going to have supernatural prosperity, you must choose to follow God's instruction. You must choose to obey God. You must choose to follow His instruction. That is how you prosper. That is how you succeed. That is how you win. When the word of the Lord came to him, the Bible said here, in verse 3 said, And I will bless them that bless thee, and I will curse him that cursed thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. Verse 4 said, So Abram departed, as the Lord has spoken to him. Abram departed, as the Lord has spoken to him. This is the pillar of prosperity. Obedience. If you are going to receive supernatural prosperity, you must be a man who is more willing to obey God than to do your personal agenda. You're more willing to obey God. You're more willing to respond to his word than to do your will. You know, a lot of people want to do what is convenient, but they don't want to do what is instructed. There is something God is instructing you to do. And this is where your prosperity is. This is where your favor is. This is where the door is going to open. If you choose the path of obedience, you're going to prosper beyond your human imagination. So he said to him here, he said, leave your father's house. And verse 4 said, so Abraham departed as the Lord has spoken to him. This man was 75 years old when God started the journey of prosperity with him. When God started prospering this man, he was 75 years old. He was 75 years old. And God started prospering him. God started increasing him. God started opening doors for him. At 75, let me say this to you. Your age is not a problem. Your age, someone say, oh, I'm just 50. I'm 45. I've not gotten anything. Look at Abraham, 75 years old, responding to God's word, running with the prophetic instruction that was entrusted to his care, knowing that his future was possible, knowing that what God has spoken was possible. This is what to do right now. What is God saying to you? Your faith in him will cause you to flow in supernatural prosperity. Your faith in him. Sometimes God will tell you to do something that doesn't look common. Something that doesn't look relevant. It doesn't make sense in the natural. And you say, how does this connect me with my future? How does this connect me with where God is taking me to? But every prophetic instruction, every direction that God gives to you is for the purpose of empowering your future. And someone is watching this broadcast right now. And the Holy Ghost is having me say this to you. Respond to the voice of God. Respond to the voice of God. What God is saying is strategic to your success. What God is saying is the pathway to your supply. If you're going to have supernatural supply, you need to trust in what the Lord is saying. You need to trust in what He's showing you. You need to trust in the word He's giving to you. This is why the scripture said, The just shall live by faith. Not by worry. The just is not going to live by worry. The just is going to live by faith. The just is going to live by faith. And by faith, you can see the miracles taking place. By faith. The next key to prospering, to receiving supernatural prosperity, we'll talk about obedience. The next key is the key of giving. Giving. Now, I want to say this to us. Don't get tired of Titan. Don't get tired of Titan. Tight, no matter how it is. Even if your paycheck is $100, tight it. 
tight that ten dollars. Even if your paycheck is 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 fifty dollar, tight the five dollars. There is something about tightening that causes increase to come to people. I've been tightening for many years. There is something about tightening that help you to stay out of poverty, stay out of lack, stay out of want. Being consistent in your tightening is a doorway to greater increase. Being consistent with your tightening, it doesn't matter what the situation is, I'm going to tight. It doesn't matter what the situation is, I'm going to give my offering. It doesn't matter. Another thing, we have to begin to pay attention to what kind of offering we give. You need to begin to pay attention. Am I giving the Lord what my leftovers? You know, some people give to God their leftovers. They give to God after they have solved all their problems. So if they have any leftover, they could throw it on the offering plate. Don't give God your leftovers. Don't give God your leftovers. Learn to give God first. Learn to tithe first. Learn to give offering first. Your giving opens door for increase. Your giving in Luke chapter 6, verse 38. In think Luke 6, 38. It said, Give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together. Shall men give unto your bosom? It said, Give. It said, It shall be given unto you. It shall be given unto you. How is it going to be given unto you? You start the giving. Then man begins to give unto you. That is a very powerful principle. Give, it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, shall man. There is a running over. There is a shaking together. There is a running over. Good measure, pressed down, shaking together, running over, shall man give to your bosom. Man wants to give to your bosom. Man wants to give, but you have to start it. So the giving is so important. Giving is important, especially when you get to a ministry where you are receiving the word of God. You go to a ministry or you go to someone, you're always receiving God's word from someone. You need to begin to sow into that ministry. This is one of the ways, you know, the scripture said, muzzle not the horse that tread the corn. He said, muzzle not the horse that tried the corn. So, a ministry where you consistently receive the word of God, where you consistently, some people receive the word of God in, a, in, in another ministry and then go to another ministry to give their titan. That's not right. You give your titan to the place where you're being fed with God's word. Who is your teacher? Who is ministering the word of God to you? Where are you getting your spiritual meals? Where do you get your spiritual word? Where do you get the word that build up your faith? That is where you go and tithe. Where you're being ministered to. Where you're being given the word. Some people go to places, they don't give them the word. There is no word of God there. They're just keeping their social status there. That's not where to tithe. A place where you're not receiving God's word, that's not the place to tithe. You send the tithe to a place the word of God is coming to you. Wherever church, wherever ministry, where the word of God is feeding you, where you consistently, where you depend on for the word of God is the place where you tithe. You can't give your tithe to a place where you're not taught God's word. You yourself, you know that I'm, I'm not learning anything here. I'm not receiving anything here, I, but I just come here. That's not where to tithe. You send the tithe to where you're taught God's word. Where you are receiving the word of God. Where your spiritual health is ministered to. Where your spiritual health is ministered to. Where you are feeding from. That is where you go and send your tithe there. You know why you send your tithe to such places? Or to the place or to the church where you go to or where you worship. Where they are being, you are being fed. It helps, it helps in the continuation of the gospel. It helps in the continuation of the gospel. It helps in the continuation of the gospel. We can't put our money in things that is not helping people to receive the gospel. 
We can't put our finances in places where they're not preaching the gospel. They're doing entertainment. You know, they're doing all kinds of funny things. And we know, but well, I just have to give it to them. No, put it where the lives are changing. That's what to do. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. So we're talking about how to prosper in your finances, how to increase in your finances. The, 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 The next key, I just thought about giving. You know, partnership is very strategic if we're going to prosper in our finances. Partnership. Who are you partnering with? Which ministry do you partner with? Those things helps us. We will, be, we, will, we will prosper as we will partner with the spread of the gospel. God gives us seed to the sower and give it bread to the eater. So as we partner, God opens more doors. He increases us to be able to continue in the good work. So partnership is important when it comes to your financial prosperity. When it comes to you prospering financially, there is power in partnership. The next key, if, if you want to have supernatural prosperity, is stepping out by faith. Sometimes, God may tell you to go do something. You have to do it by faith. Some people are waiting for when it will be convenient for them, when it is okay for them. You don't have to be the convenient moment to be able to do the will of God. We do the will of God by faith. We respond to God's will by faith. If we don't walk by faith, we cannot be in the will of God. We respond to God's will by faith. Everything that God has ever said to us, we must do it by faith. So your faith determines what you receive. You step out by faith. This is why we pray in tongues. This is why we pray in the Holy Ghost. As we pray in the Holy Ghost, insight will come into our spirit. Understanding will come to us. Revelation will come to us. And suddenly we will know that this is where the Lord wants us to go. This is what the Lord wants us to do. This is where the Lord wants us to be. We'll begin to realize that. We'll begin to understand that. For you to prosper. Faith for supernatural prosperity. Walking by faith. Standing on God's word. Believing God's word. Another key, if we're going to prosper, is the key of speaking God's word. This is so important that... You take the scriptures and you begin to declare them. This is so important. That you take the scriptures you begin to declare them. As we speak God's word, God will give us opportunity for businesses, opportunity for jobs, businesses, jobs, ideas of what to do will suddenly come. You may start something small and the Holy Ghost begins to give you some inspiration, begin to give you some insight and suddenly you begin to know what to do about the situation. Inspiration. Revelation, understanding, you, you, you suddenly come to the knowledge that this is what I want you to do. This is where I want you to go. By faith you're saying that. By faith you're saying that. You, you, you are speaking the word of God. You are declaring those scriptures. Scriptures like Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to 13. There are scriptures that I like people to declare. Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to 13. Ephesians 3, verse 20. Ephesians 3, verse 20. Very powerful scripture. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 10 and 11. Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 10 and 11. Uh, Psalm 23. Psalm 23. Psalm 23. Another script, Psalm 23. Another scripture is Revelation 5, verse 8. Revelation 5, verse 8. Revelation 5, verse 8 and 12. Another scripture is Revelation 3, verse 8. Revelation 3, verse 8 is another scripture. Revelation 3, verse 8 is another scripture. Revelation 3, verse 8. Another scripture is 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. 2 Corinthians 9, verse 8. And that scripture is 2 Corinthians 8, verse 9. 2 Corinthians 8, verse 9. Now, we'll begin to declare that scripture, you know. Speaking the word of God, it works. The word works. Nothing works like God's word. Often say to people, if you really want to live in victory, you must speak the word of God. 
the next key if you're gonna walk if you're gonna receive your supernatural prosperity you need to write the vision what what you want to achieve the goals you know the things the lord has spoken to you you write it down and begin to believe him for it and the scripture also said that god will, will bless the work of your hands you know the lord is going to bless the works of your hands so whatever the works of your hands are god is going to bless it he's going to bless the works of your hands i try as much as i can to give to soul no matter what the situation is i just looking for to just plot the seeds you know because I, i'm expecting harvest so i have to continuously live a life of giving I have to continuously give a life of giving. That's the only way I can. The the door for the increase will be open, and I'll be having the overflow to do whatever God called me to do. It costs so much to do what I do, so I have to believe God every day, looking for opportunity to put my seed in the ground, to be able to flow in the things that God wants me to walk in. Hallelujah! Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Faith for supernatural prosperity. Speaking God's word. Trusting God. Walking by faith, <laughs> declaring the word, expecting miracles, releasing the angels, causing the ministering spirit to go and cause the money to come. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Doing your job with excellence or your business with excellence. The, the, the works of your hand. He said he's going to bless the works of your hands. So whatever that is the work of your hands, the Lord wants to bless it. And you got to do it with the spirit of excellence. Whatever that is the work of your hands, you gotta do it with the spirit of excellence. You gotta do it with an excellent spirit. With an expectation that God is gonna bring multiplication to this. Or you have an expectation. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. God may say to you, I want you to support this ministry. I want you to support that ministry. I want you to keep giving them money every week or every month or whatever we wants you to do it. You keep doing it. You keep doing it. If you stay in the place of obedience, you'll prosper beyond your imagination. If you stay in the place of obedience, you will prosper beyond your imagination. If you stay in the place of obedience, hallelujah, glory be to God, obedience, prospering. Lika prado se kotori kaparada, rindo shakata libro dos ketoli kapababa. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Ghost. It's time to prosper. Look beyond the limitation. It's time to prosper. It's time to prosper. It's time to prosper. In your finances, the Lord spoke to me today. He said, multiplication is coming. It's time to prosper. It's time to come out of debt. It's time to come out of lack. It's time to come out of want. It's time to come out of every form of poverty. It's time to come out of being needy. In the name of Jesus, I decree and I declare that wealth comes to you. Wealth comes to you. Money comes to you. Increase comes to you. Finances come to you. Open doors come to you. Help from above come to you. Money miracles come to you. In the name of Jesus, you are out of debt. In the name of Jesus, wow, it's a miracle. People will be hearing from God to be a blessing to you, to buy you that house, to buy you that car. Supernaturally, things will be happening around you. I declare right now, supernatural release in the name of Jesus, that your need be met, your bills be paid. In the name of Jesus, someone is watching this broadcast and the, the power of God just came upon you. You will never remain the same. Doors are opening for you. Every door that was shut against you that you need, need right now in this season of your life i command those doors to open up now in the name of jesus i decree that those doors be open thank you father thank you holy ghost in the name of jesus someone is watching this broadcast and the holy ghost is asking you go and give go and give an offering go and so obey him and do it there is harvest in obedience yes <laughs> obey him when you obey God, you have so much to reap. There is a no, there is power in obeying God. There is power in responding to His word. I've seen miracles upon miracles in my lifetime as I worship and as I obey the voice of the Holy Ghost. Whatever the Spirit of God is telling you is the answer 
to whatever situation you are into. Thank you, Father. Miracles are coming. Miracles are coming. Miracles of supernatural provision. I could feel the anointing so strong here. I command every hindrance to be broken. I command the limitation to be broken in the name of Jesus. I command the doors of opportunities to be open. Help us are coming to you. Help us are coming to you. Help us are coming to you. In the name of Jesus, you will never be stranded. You will never be stranded. In the name of Jesus, your needs are met. Your bills are paid. Help us are coming. You will never be stranded. Thank you, Father. In the name of Jesus, amen. You can take an offering and give today and believe God for supernatural turnaround in every area of your life in the name of Jesus if you're watching this broadcast and you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior you can say this after me Lord Jesus I confess with my mouth I believe in my heart that God has raised Jesus from the dead thank you Father for saving me Amen. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. If you pray that prayer with us, the Holy Ghost is going to take you to your next level in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. It's time to prosper. People of God, it's time to prosper. It's time to see your harvest. It's time to have plenty. I prophesy to you in this season, you will have plenty. Plenty. There will be an overflow of wealth, overflow of resources, overflow. Suddenly, God will move in the hearts of people, in the hearts of people to remember you. It is time to prosper. Hallelujah. So, today I encourage you to take a seed and sow into the ground of this ministry today. By faith, let's believe God for a supernatural miracle. That you take a seed and say, Apostle, I'll be sowing into the ground of this work as you continue to take this message to the nations of the earth. So, you can take a seed and say, I'm sowing. That this message will get to more people all over the world. You can do that today. You can do it through Western Union or MoneyGram, or you can do it on PayPal. On PayPal is Fitman Teaching at gmail.com. On PayPal is Fitman Teaching at gmail.com. Hallelujah. If you're watching us on Finish Work TV, I want to encourage you that to keep watching. Your best of days are ahead of you, greater things are happening. There is something about giving that opens doors. I can feel it here. There's something about sowing and saying, Lord, I'm sowing the seed, Lord. I'm believing you for miracle. It doesn't matter how little it is. It doesn't matter how big it is. Your seed will break limitations. Your seed will break limitations. So go to paper right now on faithmanteaching.gmail.com and, and plant that seed with an expectation that increase will break out. Father, thank you for the people. As they respond in obedience, I see their finances going to another level. I pray that men will remember them from the west, from the east, from the north, from the south, and cause great increase to come to them. Miracles of supernatural favor, that their need be met, their bills be paid supernaturally in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father, for opening doors for them. Amen. Glory be to God. We encourage you to subscribe to our YouTube channel is Fitman Teaching on YouTube and you will never remain the same. So subscribe to Fitman Teaching on YouTube to receive the engrafted word of God every day that will help you grow. Hallelujah. And also you can watch us 24-7 on finishworktv.com. 24-7 on finishworktv.com. Thank you for viewing this broadcast. I'm looking forward to seeing you on our future broadcast. Don't ever forget, there is greatness in you.